Hey everybody, I'm Matt Bradford, Director of Technical Marketing here at Pure Storage. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, then you probably saw Rail Franzio and I run through the data protection assessment while annihilating our taste buds with incredibly spicy wings. And if you don't, then check out the video right here. Now, the data protection assessment will help configure your arrays for better data resiliency. But what happens when a ransomware attack occurs? Well, at a high level, we can simply recover the data. But how do you know what snapshot or backup to recover from? And that's where we can come to the new anomaly detection that's inside the data protection assessment to help answer that question. And so you see the data protection assessment is about more than just the configuration. It's also looking at ongoing activities such as anomalies. So we see these four arrays here have a lightning bolt in their cell. And what this lightning bolt indicates is that there's an anomaly that's been detected on this array that indicates there's been a large change in the data that's stored on it. And so if we click on the array here, we can get some more detail of what's going on. And what we're seeing is a significant drop in DRR. Now, DRR stands for data reduction ratio, and this includes things like dedupe. And so think about what happens when you make major changes to the data that's stored on the array. I mean, sure, your capacity might change, but that could be an indicator of a lot of different things. But new data is going to deduplicate a little bit differently than the old data. And think about it this way. If you're going to encrypt all of that data, well, it all becomes unique and you see a significant drop in DRR. And so this becomes a pretty decent indicator that somebody's gone in and messed around with your data, whether it was accidentally or something malicious like ransomware. Of course, that raises another problem, which is how do you detect this? Now, most arrays are going to have lots of volumes on them. So going in and checking on each one on a regular basis just isn't a reasonable thing to do on a day to day basis. However, with Pure One, we can leverage our machine learning to determine whether or not there's a significant change. And in this case, what we're seeing on this volume is that we've detected 26 volumes on this array that have seen a significant drop in DRR. And that should be alarming. So let's jump in and see what's going on with this array. Now, we've got our 26 volumes over here and we've got five of them already selected. Uh, and then over on the right, we have this line chart. So this is gonna show us what our DRR is and we've already got five volumes selected. So let's go ahead and add a couple more here. And sure enough, we're seeing a clear correlation here, right? The DRR for all of the volumes have a significant drop at the same time. Now, of course, there could be a perfectly good explanation for this. Yeah, this looks weird that all of these volumes have a drop in DRR at the same time, but maybe it doesn't mean ransomware. And so there's still some more investigation to be done here. However, let's say it is a ransomware attack. This is similar to something that you would see. And of course, the DRR has already dropped here and it's leveled out at about two. So it's not like this is an early warning system. However, it is very, very useful in the recovery stage following an attack. Because one of the most difficult things to do and time consuming things to do is to determine what time point to recover from. Sure, the easy answer is to just go back to last week's backups and restore that. But the problem is that you're going to lose a week's worth of data. But if you try to recover from a more recent point in time, well, you might just be recovering more encrypted data and there's no use in that. And so what this does is helps us to pinpoint the exact moment that the attack occurred so we can identify the closest recovery point to that time. And so to get a little bit more detail here, what we can do is hover over this timeline and for each of the volumes, we get a anomaly start date which is the day that the anomaly was detected. But then also this timestamp down here will give us a better idea of what time we need to recover from and look for a backup or a snapshot that is as close to that time as possible. And in this case, it looks like the attack started at right around nine o'clock in the morning on Monday. The other thing with ransomware is that you may have different recovery points for your volumes since encryption doesn't necessarily all start at the exact same time and can run at different speeds. 
which makes this new capability in the data protection assessment all that more useful as you can see all of your volumes together. Well, that's going to about wrap things up for this episode of Digital Bytes. As always, please consider subscribing and give us a big old thumbs up. Thanks again so much for watching, and until I see you in the next episode, stay pure.